Pisces. Um, hope you're well. So I've pulled the cards and um, today we're actually starting off with an essential oil. Um, so this row would be, I guess, the stress or the issue or what you're looking to clear. Um, I guess, um, for lack of a better word, it would be like the shadow side of the current energy that you're holding. Something that you want to maybe look at and um, help lift the vibration of. And then this row is almost working our way towards how to do that. So the essential oil that came up was Angelica Root, which uh, brings in um, divine strength for feelings of being held or strong support or rebuilding after a trauma. Um, and it's, it's interesting that it just happens to be number 11 um, in my little test file box. But what's come in with this energy as well is the unicorn. Um, so the unicorn speaks to us about connecting to a higher our higher, our higher self or a higher uh, power and so the messages that I'm getting from the reading so far is that potentially there's been a disconnection or a lack of belief maybe even self-belief um, maybe there has been a trauma in the past that you're trying to find a way out of but you might be stuck in a, um, yeah, kind of a pattern of it, of um, not sure how to break free of it. And so um, the unicorn is coming in um, to give you guidance, to remind you that, that A, you're not alone, and B, that you always have access to um, higher intelligence or higher support. Um, and that, you know, they've got you, really. Um, whoever it is that you connect to, so, you know, put your own uh, adjectives in here. Um, but it's coming, it's feeling like it's maybe a past relationship that's um, potentially romantic. Um, or, yeah, there's definitely some sort of heartbreak in the sense that it's kind of, holding you in a pattern of trauma and not sure how to break free of that but then the duality of it is that you kind of want to be in a, a loving relationship right but there's maybe some fear around it or you've just kind of fragmented from who you are and what you want and that can that can happen we've when we've had a bit of a um a kick in the <laughs> kick in the matrix so um, yeah let's see what other messages are so this one here is I'm a catch and it's talking about um, self-respect and it's trying to get you to remind of who you really are who your divine self is you know without even trying our natural state is um, to be full of self-love and self-worth and um, deserving of all of your um, yeah all the all, all the things that you want in life that you're worthy of that but because it's in the stress position if you just have a look at the image it's this beautiful butterfly that's either been trapped in a net before or was trying to find home in a net that was probably too small. Um, and you're not also aware that there's a lot of people that do want to embrace you in this fulfillment of your your your, your highest vibration. Um, but it's coming down to a worthiness thing here because you're like, well, maybe any net will do as long as someone something someone wants to catch me but like catch is already quite a negative word right like it's ugh. catch to me seems a bit of like entrapment so um yeah so that's why i'm feeling like it definitely is pulling towards a previous relationship or and there might be in a bit of codependency in that relationship because you know some like i said before sometimes um 
having something is better than nothing at all. Um, so no judgment there, but it, it's just, you know, if that resonates with you, it may be something to look at. Because the other two clarifying cards that came up was victim and then bonding with others. Um, so if there is past trauma here, um, oh, it's so easy to fall into that uh, victim mode, right? Because essentially we do feel victimized when we come up against trauma. Um, and so that kind of prevents us from bonding with others because maybe betrayal or trust or um, there's been a fundamental bonding um, that's been broken. So that's kind of blocking the progress, right? So if you're kind of stuck in that um, that energy, it's very hard to A, realize your self-respect and self-worth. It's hard to connect to a higher power because this is quite low vibrational. And then bonding with others, it can either go one or two ways. You don't do it at all. Or you potentially attach yourself to yeah, less than worthy um, counterparts so what do we do about this you know like this card here it's home and it's 27 so that comes down to a nine so that to me is also more divine guidance coming your way and the card has two doors um, the front door which seems locked and closed and then this window up here that has a little streak of light, a little bit of optimism. And to me, the card is saying to me, stop coming through the front door, this normal pattern. Maybe just look for something else. Look for another entry point. Because this hasn't been working. Or it's just keeping you in a low vibrational. So I feel like the cards today are trying to say, look up. Look with your third eye look for some divine strength, some inspiration, some intuition that already belongs to you, that's already yours, always has been, always will be. And even with the sim symbol of the clock here, I just feel like it is kind of time, you know? It's time to acknowledge your um, innate wisdom. And that there's, there's like a little angel or a little fairy there that's kind of saying like she's in the sleeping position but she's just really waiting for you to wake her up and ask for guidance because of course we have free will so you know it's it's asking for that it's asking for that that message that help this new way of being okay so sorry guys i uh, <laughs> my phone died uh, yeah, so let's go into the positive um, or try and find ways through some of this um, stress energy. So then we get the Hierophant, um, and that's another card that's, you know, connected to the divine, but it's also trying to bring that down into a more structured place, um, perhaps a 3D world or, um, yeah, just kind of finding... It's, it's bringing more structure to the divine for me. It's like it's like going into this realm of intuition, but then it's kind of anchoring it into your own guidance system so that you know how to deal with your, your, the framework of your life, I guess, for me um, in this reading. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's coming into more of alignment, isn't it? Like... It's taken your power back from the story. Um, and then the emotional goal card came up and that's kind of talking about um, putting something a bit more tangible into to, to play here. So what emotional goal can you bring away from all of this um, information that you've resonated with or, you know, part of your story that you're kind of fed up doing like you're just a little bit um yeah you're kind of over that you're ready for a shift you just might not know how to do it yet but it's definitely um time to figure a way out and 
it comes up with this, I'm willing to let go. You know, it's easy to let go of something or it's easy to say to let go of something. But, you know, when you get stuck in this energy, it's very, very hard. And so what I'm drawn to is perhaps willing. You know, when you've asked for higher guidance or just even asking for higher guidance can almost be the goal. It's that first step. It's that accepting that this is no longer where you want to be in or the energy you want to be in and it's willing to re willing to start releasing it or willing to look at another way to release it or yeah and how do you do that how do you do that when you're stuck in it like it's very hard to kind of vibrate out of that frequency so it does have to be small and it has to be um i would recommend tangible but also small enough to know that it's not um, it's not out of reach you know it's a way of disarming the situation so that even if you can't vibrate at a higher frequency right now it's that um, how can I get this story to be less charged so um, how can I get the energy of this to not feel so so overwhelming that it's keeping me in sort of a victim role or it's preventing me from bonding with others or yeah it's you just have to see that little door open you just almost have to find a way to position yourself into finding a new insight into this 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 pattern and you've, you've got a lot of support here like these cards are pretty they're big hitters so I feel like they have been nudging you and you may already know that too you just might not be accepting it yet or yeah stuck just needing to know what that next baby step is and if nothing else look at this one this one's about it says my karma my good karma is delightfully loving and it can be the most motivating of teachers so what i'm taking away from that card within this story is that there's a lesson here right like it's even if you don't know where you want to be going or even how to get there it's knowing about what you don't want and willing to release the fact that you don't want to stay there so that might be enough for you um, at the moment um, but but no you are definitely being guided and you're definitely being supported and I think these cards wouldn't even show up if you weren't ready to rebuild that if you weren't ready to be ready to be deciding that you will no longer accept to be caught in someone else's net that you are gonna at least learn how to fly your own guidance system um, and that can only be a great thing so yeah lots of love and light thanks guys